Hi everybody, my name is Alex Javankov and I'm the founder and CEO of Insilica Medicine. Uh, welcome to our Pharma AI Day Chemistry 42. Uh, Chemistry 42 is our flagship program that allows you to generate molecules with the desired properties and perform a very broad variety of computational and medicinal chemistry tasks. Chemistry 42 has acquired superpowers over the past three years. We have optimized both the generative part and the reinforcement learning part, so allowing you for a greater accuracy, greater stability, and most importantly, greater flexibility. So many of our customers uh, hook Chemistry 42 to their own pipelines and make it uh, um, one seamless pipeline uh, and a benchmarking system for their own generative models. This year, Chemistry 42 acquired additional tools like Alchemistry, uh, which allows you to do DFT calculations very cheaply and efficiently. Uh, it also allows you for um, more accurate ADME uh, predictions utilizing your own data and uh, ADME modules became um, vastly superior to what we had before. We also added synthetic route planning uh, and synthetic uh, route planning mapping uh, to the system. Uh, so now we can compete with uh, uh, some of the expensive state-of-the-art uh, systems available out there. Uh, but those uh, synthetic um, route planning modules are part of uh, Chemistry 42 with no extra cost to you. Uh, we also uh, collected massive amounts of feedback uh, from the entire market uh, after you, uh, getting um, this tool uh, in many, many, many different uh, scenarios. Uh, so many of you use this tool for uh, a variety of targets, a lot of scenarios. We have uh, processed this feedback and made the system better. So now you should expect uh, much more stability, more flexibility, and more features. With version 4.0, the generations now run faster. 42 hours by default compared to the previous recommendation of 60 hours, allowing you to run more experiments in the same time frame. We achieved this by allowing the models to dynamically switch between exploration and exploitation modes, meaning that they can now choose the best strategy, find new clusters or look for better molecules within the already discovered ones. We've also improved anchor point support in the generative models to enhance workflows like R group searches, scaffold hopping and hit optimization. For the experiments with ADMET predictors or custom predictive models, we can now effectively optimize up to 16 custom properties simultaneously in addition to our reward function, showing over a tenfold improvement for such experiments. We've also updated our reward function, focusing on speed and accuracy. We've enhanced our 3D confirmation generation engine and the subsequent alignment of the molecules within a binding site, paying special attention to 3D constraints with anchor points. Let's move to the interface of Chemistry 42, where we will demonstrate how to set up and execute simulations for a protein membrane complex within Alchemistry. First, navigate to the Configuration tab and select Use Solvent Box from PDB File. This feature enables uploading your customized solvation model, including lipids. Here, you can also adjust the settings of a perturbation graph, calculation protocol details, and time variables of your experiment. Upon uploading your PDB file, Alchemistry automatically starts validating your protein system, flagging any inconsistencies, and providing detailed correction instructions. For clarity, water and POPC molecules presented in the PDB file are hidden in the visualization window. Now let's move with the Ligand file. If you have a separate column with ID numbers in the SD file, you can select it or automatically generate unique IDs. The experimental data can be included as well. We support both molar and energy units. After uploading the ligands, Alchemistry will automatically validate the input data. The list of the ligands will be at the bottom of the page. After the pocket is uploaded, you may vary the visibility of the ligands in the three days structure and select the ones you would like to calculate delta G for. Now we can run the calculations. We also added a new tab, Insights, that offers detailed information on each perturbation within an experiment. This allows you to monitor the current status of all perturbations and analyze results in real time. Additionally, insights can be exported in CSV format for further analysis. To demonstrate Alchemistry's applicability, we conducted calculations for three GPCRs from the public benchmark, the trace amine-associated receptor, 
orexin receptor type 2, and metabotropic glutamate receptor 5. Our simulations showed a strong correlation between experimental and calculated values. Let's now move on to our new module, Model Training, which allows you to train predictive models with your own data directly on the platform. You can use your in-house data, such as in vitro properties, to train a custom predictive model and use it to guide the generation or to annotate your molecules. Our approach combines knowledge-driven, feature-based classical machine learning algorithms and cutting-edge graph-based neural networks, alongside proprietary evaluation techniques to ensure the development of models that are accurate and robust. All you need to do is upload your data as an SDF or CSV file. The process then follows four essential steps, pre-processing, featureization, training and evaluation. Once complete, the trained model will be available in the configuration tab of a generative experiment, ready to be applied to your specific needs. Now let's have a look on the model training module on Chemistry 42 platform. Choose Models tab and create a new training job. Upload the dataset you would like to use for training. Choose the Smiles and ID columns. Finalize the upload of the dataset and choose the column with the target values. In this example, we use log IC 50 values given in the standard log value column to train the regression model for the activity prediction. You might also use an external dataset as a test set. The type of the model is chosen automatically, based on the values provided in the target column. In the configuration tab, you can adjust standardization filters, choose the model type, set the splitting configuration, and the number of attempts. After that, click the Run button to start your model training. The progress on model training can be seen in the Progress tab. This tab shows you the current attempts, metrics for each attempt, and navigate between different metrics, such as R-squared and mean absolute error for regression. Now, into the Deploy tab, you need to input the name and short name of your model, as well as tooltip if needed, and then choose the direction of the slider in case of regression model and default value. Now, push Deploy, and your model will be added to the model tree in the custom section and could be used both for generations and profiling tasks. We now have a full-scale automated retrosynthesis tool that can provide descriptive synthetic routes for generated structures. This tool generates synthetic routes through a disconnection-based approach, recreating the thought process of an organic chemist. As input, the system accepts structures generated by Chemistry 42, or even custom datasets. It utilizes a unique library of expert-coded reaction templates, breaking and forming chemical bonds until it identifies available building blocks. Using the AI Route Planner module, it pinpoints the most optimal routes while considering many factors, including functional group compatibility, physiochemical properties, reactivity, and selectivity. This results in logical synthetic routes that match reported examples. In a manner of a few clicks, you can launch a new experiment. First, choose Retrosynthesis. Then, select or upload a dataset of molecular structures to be analysed. On the Configuration tab, you can change parameters such as the time limit per molecule, the number of steps in the synthetic scheme, and the ability to separate stereoisomers. Set a name for your experiment. Then press Run to start the analysis. After a few minutes, the results will be displayed in a table. The score that is displayed takes into account the number of steps and the conversion rate. The higher the score, the better the route. Click on a molecule to view the synthesis. The outcome is elegantly summarized in an easily digestible and friendly UI. Navigate by dragging the mouse and zoom in or out by scrolling. Building blocks are highlighted in blue, and hovering over them displays their CAS registry numbers or SMILE string. The name of the transformation employed is displayed above the arrow. Click on it to reveal a window with additional useful information. 
general reaction conditions are provided along with several journal and patent examples employing similar transformations. The participating atoms are highlighted in blue. You can access alternative routes in the top left corner where you can find the metrics for the displayed route. You can navigate to other compounds in the experiment by clicking the navigation arrows at the top. The displayed route acts as an excellent demonstration of the analytical reasoning of the retrosynthesis engine. It has considered functional group compatibility and their susceptibility to reaction conditions while building the route. To prevent any complications, it has employed a protecting group strategy, which is very common in drug synthesis. Notice that the building block identified contains a BOC group. This prevents side reactions as the oxidiazole core is being built. At the end of the synthesis, the protecting group is removed to deliver the final product. A large portion of drugs contains stereocenters. The good news is that our retrosynthesis engine can provide routes to such compounds. Building blocks that contain stereocenters are identified, and a separation step can be applied to reach the desired compound or intermediate as demonstrated here. If it was specified during the configuration step, you can also view a racemic version of the route by clicking on the above tabs. This final example demonstrates all of the previously introduced concepts in one synthetic scheme. The first step between the two halogens has a regio-selectivity issue, which the engine has already accounted for. Therefore, it has opted to use the more reactive bromine for this disconnection. The engine then converts the hydroxypyridine to its other tautomer. This allows the nitrogen to participate in a cross-coupling reaction with the bromopyridine under basic conditions. The one-pot overlay is here to signify that this intermediate forms in situ and there is no need for workup or isolation. For the subsequent cross-coupling step, a chiral building block with a protecting group is identified. This prevents the other amine from participating in the reaction. Finally, the protecting group is removed under acidic conditions to deliver the final compound.